And then he goes on to say, I got two minutes left. Here he goes on to say, but I will confess his name before my father, which is before his angels. Matthew 10, 32, whosoever therefore shall confess me before man, Jesus is saying, him will I confess also before my father, which is in heaven. Mark 8, 38, whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father with his holy angels. Luke 12, 8, this is the verse he's referring to in verse five of Revelation three. Also I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the son of man also confess before the angels of God. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Now, if I were you, and I had never given my life totally, completely to Jesus Christ, if I were you and I haven't repented of my sin, I'm living in sin, and I'm not living for God, if I were you, I'd get born again, I'd come to Jesus Christ, I'd ask Jesus Christ to forgive me for my wicked sin, I'd ask him to keep my name in the book of life and put my name in the Lamb's book of life, and I'd ask him to help me overcome the sins of the world through the blood of Jesus Christ and through the power of God, and I'd invite the Holy Spirit into my life, I'd, I'd do it at an altar of repentance against sin and, and turn to Christ and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. I would be water baptized and I would tell everybody I came in contact with on a regular basis that I respect, I adore, I believe, and I trust in Jesus Christ my Savior. I would see to it that I confess Jesus before men. That doesn't mean you gotta confess him to every man, but it does mean that you've gotta, that don't mean you go down to Walmart and tuck people on the shirt and say, hey, hey, uh, I know Jesus. And you run to the next person, hey, hey, I know Jesus. That's not what he's talking about, but he is talking about that if you get born again, you need to confess Jesus as your Lord and your Savior and admit that Jesus took your death, hell in the grave, and rose again from the grave for you and took you out of that, that book of death and you have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and you believe that Jesus Christ rose again from the grave and one day he's coming back for you and I. We must confess Jesus as our Savior. Say, well, no one knows my heart. Well, start telling it. Nobody knows my heart. I'm a Christian. I love the Lord. Nobody. Start. Spit it up. Spit it out. Tell someone. Because if you don't, at judgment, Jesus Christ won't confess you.